Welcome back to the Plays with Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Miniatures Mondays. Today, finally, we're going to attempt our first redline restoration. Now, there are a ton of YouTube channels that do redline restorations and they are awesome. I highly recommend you check out Diecast Resurrection and Wheels and Things um, and Bare Metal Hot Wheels. All three of those guys make awesome restorations. However, they all repaint the cars. We have an idea. We picked these up uh, at a swap meet uh, down in Florida, and they are in really, really good shape, except for some corrosion and some like missing chrome and some bent axles and things. And we thought, I bet we can save this twin mill. Uh, this is an original 1968. It's got the uh, colored base on it instead of the chrome base that the later model ones have. And other than like some toning and a little bit of missing paint on the front, it's really in nice shape. So I bet if we polished the paint, got rid of the corrosion, touched up the chrome, and straightened all the axles, we would have a really nice car that's actually restored rather than like completely frame off restored, I guess. We wouldn't have to drill it out, we wouldn't have to paint it. But because this car is so nice and we kind of want to practice first, we've got this silhouette to try it on, um, which is got a lot more corrosion in it. You can see like the bubbling and the paint and stuff. And then we also have this, I believe this is a um, Torero? Yeah, Torero, which has the opening hood. Um, and it's missing like a big chunk of paint on the top. So um, if we mess this one up, it's kind of not as big of a deal. It's also not as rare of a car. We can always drill this out and paint this later. So we were gonna give this one a try first. So over here, we're going to put this in some lime away to eat away at the acid. The acid in the lime away is going to eat away all the corrosion on the base. Um, Diecast Resurrection, uh, the Canadian guy, was the one that showed us how to do that. So that's this stuff right here you can find in the grocery store. And always label your stuff with what you're using here. All right, let's see. Let's turn this on. Nice good bath in there, and we are going to drive it in. Ready? Woo! It's like it's getting a car wash. Yeah, it's like it's getting a car wash, huh? We're actually going to move this to the towel just so we don't mess up our little base there. And it's going to sit there for about five minutes. Now you can see on the base here, we have a little bucket of H2O, which is... Uh, two hydrogens, one oxygen, which is water. Uh, we put just a dash of baking soda in it um, as a base to neutralize the limoate acid. And why don't you film those cars while I go get the tool, and then you can show some bubbling. Like it's getting the collage, but it's not. All right, how's that fizzing coming along? Good. All right. So what we have here while we're waiting is this is the tool that you need to fix the axles, uh, and then here's the drill bit and uh, no, no, you always keep it that way. There you go. We have a new helper doing our filming. So this is the tap and drill set to drill the hole and then tap it. And these are the screws you use to put it back together. So we have, and then this is the um, uh, the collet, the piece that you use to put the tap in so that you can spin it. And this is the center punch. When you squeeze it, it makes a punch right out of there. And you can adjust its tension. So we got all the tools we need to actually rebuild it um, if we need to, but we're going to try it first. So let's show how to fix the wheels. We'll try on the blue one here. So see how these axles are bent down and you can't really drive the car? I'm going to take the tool and put it there and very gently kind of try to bend it up. <coughs> oh, that side worked pretty good. Let's try this side again. Wow, look at that. Look at how much steer it is. It almost rolls straight. Let's fix the back ones. See the back ones are bent down just as much. They've got positive camber on them so the top of the tire is away from the body so what we're going to do is put the little tool in there 
bend it the direction we want it to go. We're trying to put some negative camber in so the top of the wheel goes into the body. And then, all right, that almost spins nice. A little bit of adjustment, some fine tuning. Hmm, it's not tracking real straight. The back wheels seem to be bent um, outward, so the front of the back tire is facing out away from the car. Rear toe out, We're fixing that. Ah! Well, it's already much improved. Basically, you just keep fiddling with it till you get them where you want. These are like super dry and need some grease and stuff, so oh, look at that. Whoa! <laughs> we got it! Alright! So that's how you use the little tool. Seems to work really nice. Alright. Let's check on our Torero. It's been a couple of minutes. It should be nice and fizzy by now. Maybe not. I have a little brush for it. This is going to get all the corrosion off the base. I don't think you're supposed to touch this with your hands. Nah. I'm going to go grab a glove. You keep showing the, the fizzing. I'll be right back. channel my inner die cast resurrection and go for the glove look. He always wears gloves. Love watching his videos. Alright. Should be all nice and fuzzy. And you know what else he does? He uses a brass brush. I have a brass brush. Ah! We were not prepared with tools. It's okay. It needs the fizzy. Brass brush. <laughs> Is it the brass brush? It's in the brass brush. Handsome. I like that card with this one. Today. All right. It's the problem with trying to film in a good filming location instead of next to the toolbox. You got to run for the tools all the time. Okay. So this is admittedly a very worn, but this is a brass brush. See how the bristles are like a goldish color? That's brass. Not to be confused with a steel wire brush. The steel wire brush is much firmer and harder. This can scratch up the car and really ruin things. You want to use the softer metal, which is the brass. They also make brushes that are like hard bristly plastic, which are good for like scrub-a-dubbing on the paint side. Show the car. That all scrubbed down. All right, and then on the base, on the actual, hold it up so you can see the car. There you go. On the actual car part side, we'll use the brass brush. We'll do just like all the other guys do. Some other cars in the video, Daddy. Yeah, the videos we watch there. Well, the parents in the videos, they do have kids. Their kids just don't help them with their videos like you guys do. Well, look at all the fizzy. Show them the fizzy. Wow. Show them inside there the fizzy. You guys see the bubbles fizzing out from the wheel wells of all the acid from the lime away being neutralized by the baking soda? That's like a science experiment right there. How cool is that? We'll give it a second to finish bubbling and fizzing. Take it out and take a look at it. Alright. That looks really good. Alright, why don't you guys show that while I go rinse this off in the sink. We'll be right back.
das bringen. Showing off the eagle eye. Go dump this out. You guys show them the car all wet. Let's dry it off and take a look at what we've got. Ready? So we can get rid of that. I rinsed it really well in the... Alright, so now you can see the base looks a lot better and shinier. We got rid of a lot of the corrosion, but it really kind of dulled the paint a lot. That's not nearly as shiny and deep as it used to be. It, it and look, it like took some away from there. So maybe that's not the answer on how to clean these. That's why we tried it on this one first, but we're still going to give it a try. We're going to try and see if we can fix that. Can you hand me the chrome pen? Yeah. So we have our Molotow liquid chrome pen. This is the one millimeter. Shake it up really good. Looks like we can use that to fix the wheels. If I'm talented enough to freehand draw a five spoke. See, look at that. We saved the wheel. Now we don't have to buy replacement wheels. They even get to keep the original wheels because the red line stripes are in such good shape. Let's try the back here. It just has a couple of spots. All right, try the other side. Try to like aim over there so they can see. Yeah, there we go. This would be way too hard to do through the camera, which is why I've got my helpers with me today. How's that one look? Does it look good in the screen? Yeah. Alright. Let's try this one. Well, there we go. We got some chrome wheels back on there now. Doesn't look too bad. Let's try and straighten the axles on this one.
You can see the little white things in there. Those are the bearings. These are the wheels that pop off. Now if we were going to replace these, you want to cut the wheels off so you don't risk hurting the bearings. Well, it goes to the right, but it it goes. Try and fix the steering on it. Mm, that made it worse. Oh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> All right. Well, so we've managed to clean up the base, but it kind of hurt the paint, and we chromed the wheels, and we got the axles to go straight. But I think overall, we kind of made the car worse on this case. Like, look at how dull the engine looks. It's even duller than before. Um and then like more of the paint came off so we'll have to we'll have to take this one apart and give it a proper restoration so experiment number one is is sort of okay and sort of a failure we know we can fix the axles and we know we can make the the wheels look good so now that we've got this one to roll too we know we can do the wheels we'll try to figure out a way we can save this paint without using the lime away because the lime away is too harsh and it bring all the paint out like look at how shiny this one still looks even with all the corrosion and then this one with no corrosion is like super dull. It like got in between the paint and the car and it changed the color. It used to be a nice bright vibrant red and now it's like this dark not so nice red. And we don't want to mess up the vibrancy of this um, orange twin mill because it's so cool looking. So alright so experiment number one was here. It's kind of a I don't know. At least we learned some stuff and this one will be experiment number two. We'll figure out uh, some other chemical or something we can use to clean up the corrosion on this without hurting the paint and then we'll do the wheels and chrome and stuff on this one and see if we can't get this one to work and then if we're successful with that we'll do the twin mill so that's been this episode of miniatures mondays hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, everybody say thank you to our new film crew